Let's discover more about other dairy products. Butter is a kitchen essential. It's used for everything from your breakfast toast to making scrumptious cakes. To make butter, fresh milk is first separated into cream and skim milk, cooled and put into a storage tank. The cream is pasteurised and aged. The cream is then separated into buttermilk and butter using a churning process. This can be done using a machine called a continuous butter maker. Salt is added to the separated butter to help preserve it and enhance the flavour. After a final mixing process, it is ready for sale. Cream is made by separating fresh milk. This is done using a special machine called a centrifuge, which spins around very, very quickly. The force created by the spinning throws the skim milk to the outside of the bowl and the cream remains in the centre. As with most other milk products, cream is pasteurised. Once the cream is cooled and packaged, it is ready for sale. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. This kid's favourite is made from a mixture of milk solids, sugars, stabilisers, emulsifiers and water, which are all blended together, pasteurised and homogenised. The mixture is allowed to cool overnight in storage tanks at 1.4 degrees Celsius. This ageing process gives the ice cream improved body and texture. Flavours or colours can be added to the mixture before it is pumped into freezers where it is whipped, aerated and frozen ready for sale. It's hard to pass any food store and not spot a dairy product for sale. Australian dairy is also popular around the world and approximately 40% of dairy products we produce are exported to more than 100 countries. The most common products we export are cheese, butter and milk powder. Australian dairy foods are popular in countries where it is either too hot or dry to keep cows, or where the population density is so great that there is very little space for dairy farming. The different parts of milk are also used in a number of other foods. Milk can be broken down and used in chocolate, mayonnaise, baby food, powdered soups, evaporated milk and instant coffee. It's even in your toothpaste. Ask your teacher how you can discover more about dairy.